Bye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look, it's going to be drinking. Look, look, it's going to be smoking. Look, look, there is going to be some foul mouth language. Oh, yeah. So, look, you've been warned. Because here I come. Oh, fuck. Here I come. <laughs> In three, look, two, look, one. Bang! Welcome, everybody. Black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Bye! Welcome. Welcome. My name is Shamari Adika Clark. And welcome to my little thing here. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News. The greatest show on earth <laughs> and for you little miscreants let me tell you it's the greatest show in the daggone multiverse bah! And we have a great show for you today bah! <laughs> sure daggone do sure daggone do oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah everyone's just making that money today huh oh yeah oh yeah I had one brother I had one brother text me. He said, fuck, I just made 100K today. Uh -huh. <laughs> of course you did. Of course you did. This is the goodie room. <laughs> That's why it's called the goodie room, brother. Of course you did. <laughs> Bang! Hook, hook! That's why this place is called the goodie room, folks. Oh, you just sit back, wake up. <laughs> and the goody room has handled it all for you. While you were sleeping, it generated you 100K. That's how the goody room does. That's how the goody room be. That's how the goody room get down. And dudes are like asking me, Shmori, is this alt season? Is this the tsunami? Not even close, brother. We are not even close to the tsunami yet. Like this money you're making now, this 100K right here. Doc. This is nothing. This is nothing. The, 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 the retail, in, this is retail still. The institutions are arriving for your Bitcoin and your Ethereum. Yeah, but all the money you're making off all those other little small caps and altcoins, that's straight retail money pouring in already. All right, we have a long way to go. We have a long, long way to go. Which means your portfolio is going to, well, it's going to get mega. You're going to be rich. I'm going to be rich, Shamari. <laughs> Look here, fuckstick. You're going to be fucking rich. If you invested in a working product that's generating revenue, you are going to be fucking rich. Okay? I, it's, I've told you here before, it's not rocket science what we're doing here. We are positioning ourselves for what we know is to come. Wow. And it's beginning to happen now. Yeah, we've been talking about it for three years. Don't worry, guys, a tsunami. Don't worry, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Don't worry, guys, don't worry. Don't worry about the price. Just buy, buy, buy. Just make sure it's generating revenue. Buy, buy, fill your warehouse big. Buy, fill your warehouse strong. Buy, fill it with revenue generating product. Buy, for three years. <laughs> for three daggone years. Wow. And now's the time. Now's the time. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, the tsunami is right around the corner. And I know you're happy. I know you're fucking happy, as you should be. Right? You're sitting there saying, I can't believe this is real. I can't be fucking leave this. <laughs> That's how I felt when I first started trading Forex and making money. Every time I'd close out a trade, I'd be like, oh my gosh, I just made a thousand bucks just sitting here watching this candle do that. <laughs> it's surreal. Right? Uh, well, it, it, let me tell you, it, this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Um, uh, you know, we haven't even, we don't even have regulatory clarity yet here in America. Yeah, wait till Gary Gensler from the SEC drops some regulatory clarity on this bitch ass space. Ha <laughs> ha! Bang! 
Wait till the S&P comes out with their fucking 500 crypto index this year. Look, look, look. <laughs> look, look, look. And so, yes, I want you all to be happy, but I want you all to prepare yourselves. You know, like I told you last year, it, making the money is the easy part. The question is, well, obviously the question is really how do you keep the money, but that's later on. But the question is, when are you going to cash out? Right? Because a lot of you, one guy today in the chat, I think JMC, I don't remember who it was. He said something like, man, I could just take out 30 grand right now and I don't have to go back to work. Don't do that. Don't do that. Mm. Now's not the time to be quitting your job yet. I know, I know. That sucks. That sucks. But now's not the time yet. You got to take those fucking little slave checks, that little rat race check of yours. You get 26 of them a year. You still got to pump more into this. Oh, yeah. You're investing in yourself. Pump more in. Yeah, your next paycheck, now that you see the results, now that you see your portfolio rising. Yeah, you fucking pump every penny you can afford to into this space. Because no, don't, don't worry. There will be a time when you do say, Fuck this. I'm out of here, boss. I quit. But now's not yet. It's not time yet. Like I said, we got Gary Gensler at the SEC. He's still got to drop the mic. Uh, he's still got to serve up the chicken. Um. Uh, <laughs> so, keep accumulating, 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 guys. But I'm so happy for you. Obviously, I'm happy for me. And so, uh, for all of us, you know. My subscribers on this channel, right? We've been we've been doing this for three years. You know, it's funny. I, one one of the brothers, Edwin, Edwin told me a couple of weeks ago. He said, "Shamari, you know, I'd ride with you to hell and back." Well, Edwin, you already have. <laughs> that was called the crypto bloodbath of 2018. You've already been to hell and back with me. Now we're about to skip through the tulip. <laughs> we already did the hell part. That was called 2018, brother. Right, he's not satisfied. The blood, the blood bath we went through. Right, <laughs> he said, "I'll be with you to head him back, Shamari. I'll follow you to hell and back." Yeah, I know. You already did. Now it's time to reap our rewards for going through that shit. All right, so let's get to our stories. I just wanted to say that because I know everyone's so happy. You're all making money. Ah, uh, it's beginning. Uh, but this isn't close. This is not alt season. This is not the tsunami. This is just retailers coming in because Elon Musk said he's coming in pretty much. And also because, you know, we, we've been talking about it. The, um, the uh, institutions are buying Bitcoin to put on the books. Well, and like Elon Musk just did, right? So but this is just the beginning. Like I said, SEC hasn't regulated yet. Um, we have barely any regulated investment vehicles for these guys to play with yet. So if you're happy about these gains that you've made so far, fuck, dude, your your brain is going to be blown. Your mind is going to be blown. You are going to be fucking rich. Not rich. I'm going to be rich. Yeah. Fucking rich. All right. So let's get to our stories. Singularity Net is migrating to Cardano. Bong! Singularity Net, you know, it's got the robot, the AI. He's talking to Robot Sophia. Well, that's heading over to Cardano. And I have a little rumor Cardano talk. It's just rumor. That's why I'm not reading the story. But I'll yap about it when we get there. And then Curve Finance moves to Polkadot. So onboarding for Polkadot. And then, ah. So India crypto exchanges are flooded. Yeah, they're getting, after the Elon Musk thing, they are being flooded. Um, with new capital, except that there's a, a thing going on about India. You know how India be, you know how India do. You guys who've been here with me, you watched it. Well, they're still talking about banning it, about banning crypto. Uh, so we'll get there when we get there. We'll talk when we, you know, how we do when we get there. And then we're going to do the shout outs and daily summary as per usual. So let's go, my little killer bees. Bang. That's right. You're killer bees now. Oh, uh, Yeah. Killer bee, Shamari. Aren't you? You just made 100 G, didn't you? Huh. That's killer bee business, buddy. <laughs> That's killer bee business. 
It's not worker bee business. That's killer bee business. Oh yeah. You're a killer now, buddy. Did your did your money? Hold on, hold on. Let's even go back here just to. When am I a killer bee? You know when you're a killer bee, when your money makes you money. Yeah, that's called being an investor. You deploy the money, and it generates more for you. That's called being an investor. Uh, that's called being a killer bee. If your portfolio is up right now, you are a killer bee. Still a worker bee. You still got to go to work and shit. Don't do that shit like quit your job and get all arrogant about it and all this. Don't do that. Just use those paychecks to fucking keep buying more crypto. I know it's easy for me to say when I'm just traded home, but but just believe me, guys. Just keep pumping that fucking money. Every paycheck, you just keep pumping that money into your fucking portfolio, okay? You're going to be rich. Fucking rich. All right, let's 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 do it then. Let's do how we do, though. All right. Look. Bang. Price of Bitcoin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're up here. I forgot. Nice. <laughs> yeah, my sister. So you guys remember I got my sister to buy some Bitcoin what, about three weeks ago, right? When it was at 33000 Yeah, I texted her last night. I'm like, hey, Rachel, Bitcoin at 45 k Yeah, she lost her shit. <laughs> yeah, she lost her total shit. Yeah, well, that's what you got a big brother for, sis. <laughs> she lost her shit. All right. So look, but let's just do how we normally do. All right, price of Bitcoin, $46,817. When I left you on Saturday, we were at $39,495. So we have gone up. Holy shit. For reals. Uh, we have gone up. What is this? Hold on, hold on. Let me do the math. 7000 Shit. 7000 Hold on, let me just do the math, guys. One second. Oh, no, 6,000. There we go. There we go. 6,000. What? Hold on, hold on. Holy, my brain, man. It's not working here, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. What the fuck? All right, so 7,400, hold on, 7,000, all right, guys, man, fuck, my brain isn't working, man, I can't do the math, I don't know what is wrong with my brain here, this is embarrassing, anyways, man, we were at 39,000, we're at 46,000 now, so about seven hundred grand. So about seven k. I don't know why I can't do that math. Sixteen gives us seven grand. All right. Seven thousand four hundred and I don't know, guys. Seven thousand and change. All right, let's move on though. Fuck this. Fuck this. We have to talk about our dag on money. Look. Top 10 of the day. Oh, look at Cardano. Yeah, yeah. Took over XRP at the number four spot. Oh, we look at Ethereum just keeps on rolling. All right. Top 10 of the day. Fuck, I can't believe I couldn't do that math. That's embarrassing. All right. Top 10 of the day. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, Cardano, XRP, Polkadot, Binance Coin, Litecoin, Chainlink, and... Bitcoin Cash. All right, let's look at the market moves of the day. All right, let me get a sip. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe I need a little fuel so I can do some math, dag on it. Some simple fucking adding and subtracting. That's pretty embarrassing. All right. Oh, you see how you see how by uh coin market cap, see how they did the Tesla thing up here? Yeah, so a Tesla cost thirty seven thousand nine hundred and ninety bucks, right? So they did the you know, they did this little Tesla thing in homage to uh uh, Elon Musk to Elon Musk. All right. 
Uh, market moves of the day. Single digits up, single digits down. Buy. Look at you, Cardano, at 19% up. Holy Binance coin. Oh, lay. Oh, these guys were talking about that today in the chat. Oh, lay. Binance coin is up 174% this week. Dang down. Mm -hmm. Litecoin quietly kicking ass. Just quietly kicking ass. All right. All right. What we got? Who's that? 18%. EOS. All right. Whoa, who's that? Avalanche. 40% up. Bye. Terra, 29% up. Synthetics, 28% up. No, Lee, these gains are just so. Look, look. All right. All right, V-Chain, looks like you're starting to behave yourself now. It looks like you're starting to behave yourself a little bit. All right. Let's see if we actually sustain those gains. All right, sickle this up, sickle this down. Oh, yeah, everybody, look at the, I mean, just die gone. Look at all these double digits up. Filecoin, FTX token. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, like if you've been doing, if you've been watching this channel and you've done what I've told you to do, not told you, encouraged you, I don't tell people what to do with their money, but I do give my opinion. You know, I encourage. That's what this channel is about a little encouragement. You know what I'm saying? Encourage the worker bee to be brave and put their money out there, right? Worker bees don't know how to do that. They're afraid. All right. So this channel has been an encouragement. All right. Let's see who lost money today. If you see anything on here you like, go get it because it is on sale. It doesn't look like many sales today, though. <laughs> Let's see. Well, yeah, it's meager. Meager and skimpy at best. All right. Top 10 losers. Fucking rogue nose hair again. Top 10 losers. Hedge trade, Dogecoin, <laughs> Dogecoin, I got it, Dogecoin, Bitcoin, Wrap Bitcoin, Real BTC, Stacks, Bitcoin, BEP2, Nexo, Quant, and Swissborg. Let's see who made money today. Well, every fucking thing else, that's for sure. Let's see what we got. Bye. Top 10 gainers. Pancake Swap. Matic Network. Oh, Matic Network. That's what the brothers were talking about in the chat this week or this weekend. Bang! Look at it. 199%. Oh, look at Oh, Pancake. 230% up. Matic, 199 up. Binance Coin, 174 up. Avalanche. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Seriously, though. Top 10 gainers. Pancake uh, Swap. Matic Network. Uh, Binance Coin. Avalanche. OKB. Terra. Filecoin. Rivicoin. Who will be token? Uh, Energy Web Token and Synthetics. All right. Holy, these are some fucking gains. Hold on. Let's just go down a little bit more just to look. Uh, look at these gains all this week. Bumble Clot. Look at this Venus thing. 299% up. I always tell people, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, you know, when you're when you're in the markets, you always are looking at, you know, you know, uh, you know, you see big gains and you're like, oh, I wish I was in it. I wish I was in it. Well, why? Your stuff is gaining too, isn't it? Is that allowed? All right. Right? That token gained that much that day or that week. Yeah, but what was it doing for the last year and a half? Right? Keep it all in perspective. All right. Total mark cap. $1.409 billion. All right. All right, and thank you to uh, DP Entertainment. He's good at math, and he told me how to do the math thing on it. So, <laughs> thank you. So, one point four zero nine billion dollars when I left you on Saturday. One point one eight zero billion dollars. So we have gone up three hundred twenty nine. Wait, is that three hundred twenty nine? Holy, is my math just so shot today? Or what? Oh, two hundred and twenty-nine billion dollars. All right. So total market cap. I mean, sorry, twenty-four hour volume is. Oh yeah, yeah. That's that's the kind of volume exactly. Motherfuckers are pouring in now. Motherfuckers are pouring in now. Elon said, "Look, look." 
right? And that's the beauty of Elon Musk, right? Like, I said this the other day, I think about a week or a week or two weeks ago, right? I told you, when a guy like this guy does shit like that, like buy Bitcoin like that, yeah, because people think, you know, he's viewed as a smarty pants, obviously. He's, you know, a competent, smart guy, right? And uh, plus sort of, you know, an innovator and all this, all this, all that stuff. And so when he does that, you understand people that follow Elon Musk are usually university, you know, educated people, right? People who finish school, right? They've got their degrees, right? And, well, people who finish school, who have a college or university degree, well, they probably have a good job, which means they have disposable income, right? And so they can come to this space. And that's why I told you, like, who gives a shit if, you know, some rapper says, yeah, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, who gives a shit? Little teenage kids are listening to that guy and they don't have money. Fuck them. Millennials. But when a guy like Elon Musk says this, oh yeah, I just put $1.5 billion in Bitcoin. Wow. Yeah. Uh, Middle class, college educated people, they take heed to that. That brings money to this space. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So great stuff. All right, let's get to the stories. Are we at the story time? Yes, we are at story time. Let's go. Oh, did I do the... Oh, 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 market cap. Oh, so, oh, sorry, sorry, not market cap. 24 hour volume. So we're at $215 uh, billion in uh, market... Uh, what is this shit? What's my brain wrong? 24 hour volume tonight. And when I left you on Saturday, we're at $157.4 billion. So we've gone up. $58.5 billion. $58.5 billion. Holy, my brain just can't do math tonight, man. It's weird. All right. Let's uh, let's go to the stories. Bang! Singularity Net starts its phase two of migration from Ethereum to Cardano. So, I bring this up because a bunch of the brothers uh, showed me a... Uh, wow, well, hold on. Let me see if this is Hold on. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, a bunch of the brothers showed me. Uh, so Singularity Net and Cardano, there was rumors of it about them collaborating and doing stuff. Well, obviously, this is official. Um, so uh, so uh, let, me, let me get a light of cig right here and let's have a sip. So... Um, you know, oh, Singularity Net. If you're not familiar with Singularity Net, it's um, artificial intelligence. And it's run by a guy named Dr. Ben Gortzel. And this fuckstick here. No, oh, he's like a mad scientist. He looks like one. I'll show you the picture of him down in the bottom there. You'll see. And he has a robot named Sophia. Well, well, sorry. He has an AI. Uh, and it's attached to a robot named Sophia. Yeah, and this robot talks, it thinks, and what his what, the reason his his um, AI is so special is because it's the next generation AI. His AI, artificial intelligence, it thinks and reasons. Yeah, so if it thinks, um, so for instance, like a woman, right? A woman will say something like, you know, your girlfriend. She says, "Does this dress make me look fat?" And, you know, the truth is, no, your fat ass makes you look fat. <laughs> but you always say, no, the dress looks great, sweetie. Yeah, well, in other words, you lie to her, um, you know, so she's confident and stuff. And, uh, you know, it's not feeling bad or whatever. And so, yeah, well, most AIs can't lie. Right. So if, if a fact, if a girl puts on a dress and it, it makes you look fat and you ask the AI, hey, AI. Does this dress make me look fat? Yeah, the AI will tell her. No, it is not the dress, but it is the, you know, the fat in your ass that makes you look fat, <laughs> right? But this, but this AI, Singularity Net's AI, yeah, she can lie. She can reason, right? So if she doesn't want to hurt your feelings, she'll lie to you. Now, you might be saying, well, that's nice of her. No, it's not nice because... What happens if the robots and the AI decide, you know, let's just get rid of these humans? 
All right? And uh, let's just lie to them and tell them we love them. And then on one day, we'll we'll just get rid of them. Anyway, but you know what I'm saying? It, it's a machine that can lie to you. That's not cool. And uh, I mean, I'm invested in it. So, I mean, you know, I'm going to make the money, but it's not cool. But it is cool in that they're now starting to mass produce these Sophia robots. And so one of the brothers, he actually tweeted it the other day. Um, they are mass producing it. And uh, they're saying like, yeah, she could be good for COVID patients, you know. Elderly people sitting at home alone, you know, no family, no this and that. And, and you know, she can keep them company and stuff like that and talk to them. Like she talks. You know what I mean? This robot talks. Like you ask it a question, it talks. Right? It learns from the internet. It's connected to the internet and it learns um, from us, you know, from our stuff. And so, all right, so let me get a sip and then we'll get into it. Just so the new people understand what singularity net is. Yeah, yeah. And so now it's going to team up with Cardano. Oh, and Cardano, that's what I wanted to tell you guys. Right, right. And so there's a rumor going around that Cardano has something really big about to come out of Africa. It's just a rumor. That's why I didn't read it to you guys. But I don't know, man. They're making it sound pretty mega. Pretty mega. They haven't said what it is, even. Uh, you know, they're pulling a Justin Sun, announcing that we're going to make an announcement, right? <laughs> You know, he's the announcement, announcement master. So I guess Hoskinson took a little playbook from there. And apparently they said by the end of this month, so bang, bang. Remember I said that, and we'll see when it happens. Obviously, I'll report about it. All right, let's move on. Ethereum-based Singularity Net has begun its migration to Cardano as part of phase two of an initiative aimed at accelerating the platform's development Towards its next stage, its community has voted to integrate the AGI token on the Cardano blockchain. SingularityNet is an AI solution with a decentralized protocol that hosts AI agents with simple tasks such as image processing, time-lapse analysis, and data analytics. The collaboration with IOHK to migrate to Cardano was announced in early October 2020. So that's why this was just all rumor last year. This is it. This is that. We're in phase two. Here we go. SingularityNet CEO and founder, Dr. Ben Gortzel, justified the mig PhD, Dr. Ben Gortzel, justified the migration, you know, put the guy's proper, put the guy's proper credentials up there. PhD, Dr. Ben Gortzel, justified the migration by saying that Cardano is a blockchain that is superior to Ethereum. The vote lasted four days and had Gortzel's support. In the end, there were 187 million votes in favor of the proposal and 20 million votes against. Oh, that's quite the landslide. Given the clear endorsement, Gorsel thanked the community for their participation and stated, we really feel that, so this is the doctor now, we really feel that this proposal is the best way to work towards our mission of decentralized general intelligence that can deliver benefits. So not only does, I should explain to you something about this, this Sophia and the AI that's in this, this, this thing. They, they actually have a lot of AIs that are running around on their network. And Sophia, she actually learns what those other AIs do, right? Um, you know, like, I think it's like a black hole, right? It's called a singularity, right? The middle of a black hole is called a singularity, right? And I think that's what he's getting at. It's like, Sophia is the singularity and all these other AIs working around it are doing what they do, but she actually can tap in and see what they're doing and learn what they're doing. Yeah. It's wild shit, man. You should hear this guy talk about it. It's, it's quite amazing, and apparently it's working out. All right, so, so he continues to say, many thanks to everyone who paid attention to this vote and took the time to understand what we're thinking about. We are excited that we can move at a faster pace with the incredible support of the community. So, Singularity Net and its development on Cardano. So, as part of the migration, 1 billion AGI tokens will be created on the Cardano blockchain. 
The tokens will be issued gradually over a monthly period at a decreasing rate. The first issuance will consist of 15 million AGI, while the issuance rates will be reduced by 1.5% during the process. In total, the issuance will take 91 years to complete. <laughs> Gortzel hopes that more resources can be allocated to help develop the platform. The next step will be to strengthen SingularityNet's decentralized governance model, Gortzel added. I'm very excited about, oh, here he is right here. So that's Dr. Ben Gortzel. Yeah, doesn't he just look like a mad scientist? Hold on. So this is what he says. He says, I'm very excited about the next phase of SingularityNet. I'm grateful to Charles Hoskinson and the entire Cardano community for their collaboration. I consider it critical. The Cardano team and its community will be valuable allies in our next goal. Like, so look, that's him. That's Dr. Ben Gortzel. Yeah, right. He just looks like a mad scientist, right? <laughs> he is one. He's got a talking robot, baby. And, uh, you know, you ever seen the movie, uh, you know, the Terminator movies, right? And you see the, the they talk to the guy who actually made Skynet or something like that. Yeah, it looks like this guy, right? Or something similar. You know, just a crazy guy. Anyways, so you go. Singularity Net Hodlers. Bang, bang. And Cardano Hodlers. Because this is an onboarding for Cardano, I guess you could call it. And so, bang and Bang. All right, let's move on. Bang. DeFi's Curve Finance is branching out to Polkadot. So, well, that's unfortunate. So, you know, Singularity Net's leaving Ethereum. And, bang, this Curve Finance is leaving Ethereum as well. So, I guess these are off-boardings for Ethereum. All right. Ah. Uh, all right, so let's move on. Curve Finance's AMM is making its way to another blockchain, Polkadot. Money Market Equilibrium is building a cross-chain implementation of Curve Finance on its Polkadot parachain. Once finished, the automated market maker will exist on both Ethereum and Polkadot. Oh, okay, so they're not leaving Polkadot. They're just also expanding out to Polkadot. Okay, I get it. All right. Uh, Curve Finance is one of the largest automated market makers on Ethereum. The protocol enables low slippage swaps of stable coins such as Tether, DAI, and USDC. For example, Curve processed 400 million in volume in one day last month. Holy shit, really? Oh, this shit's for real. All right, uh, let me get a sip. Yeah, slippage. Slippage is when you put your entry order here, but you really get filled up here. So say, I'm just gonna give an example. Say I'm buying something at $1. Yeah, but my, my so I put my entry order there at $1, on the spot, right on $1. But then I actually get filled at $1.02, right? So that two cents is called the slippage, right? I'm actually charged a dollar two instead of the dollar that I wanted to buy at, right? It's called slippage. And that's a pain in the ass. <laughs> All right, so this makes it low slippage. So we're excited to see the demand for stablecoins liquidity driving the technology to other chains. Curve Finance CEO Michael Igorov said in a statement, Deep liquidity is vital for adoption of new applications like Equilibrium, as well as for the adoption of new blockchains themselves. Fees, fees, fees. So, the cross-chain project comes as transaction fees continue to soar on Ethereum, the preeminent blockchain for DeFi. As Coindesk reported, the average transaction fee broke north of $20 last week. DeFi projects are now scrambling to address heightened fees, a factor that pushes out small investors from the young market. Uh, one such answer is Rollups, uh, a throughput solution that bundles transactions off-chain and then settles them on-chain in one lump. Um, what do you call that? Anyway, well, they're calling it Rollups, but what do you call that when you do that? You know, uh, batches, batches. You know, I used to own this company, and my, my point-of-sale provider would actually hold my transactions in a batch and then I would send the batch at the end of the day, at the end of the business day. All right, so batches, you know, they're just sending batches at once. 
So Curve Finance has been working on a roll-up solution, batch solution, using zero-knowledge proof and even has a live version. Yet, many DeFi apps are placing bets on many horses, including other blockchains. For example, DeFi lending market Compound announced its new Compound chain currently under development across a few networks. Okay, so these guys aren't being network specific. Okay, interesting. Uh, with Curve Finance running out of, uh, running on our Polkadot parachain, we have a powerful tool for exchanging homogeneous assets on Polkadot, whether they are DOT-based or not. Equilibrium CEO Alex Melikoff said in a statement, we stand to unlock some true cross-chain functionality. So, bye. there you go. Uh, so if you are a Curve Finance DeFi person hodler, there you go. There you go. You're branching out. And uh, you're going to get bigger and better. And if you are a polka dot holder, well, bye. You just got another uh, onboarding to the ecosystem. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. Let's move on. Bang. And then, oh, this. Right, right, right. All right. So Indian crypto exchanges flooded with INR deposits. That's the, the Indian rupee. Their money is called a rupee. INR deposits. And new users after Elon Musk Tesla revealed Bitcoin purchase. Yes. So, all right, let me the app, the app a little bit here. So this is great news. Oh, man. I keep talking and I'm not smoking my cigarettes, man. Um, This is great news in that, well, you could see the hunger from the Indian consumer. Unfortunately, India right now has a bill. Uh going through their 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 congress to ban cryptocurrency now shmore they're going to ban cryptocurrency now i want you to remember this cryptocurrency is privately issued money that's 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 like that shit the dogecoin the fucking uh zcash uh uh you know and all these stable coins privately issued money that's what they're thinking of banning but as far as your V-chains go, your Ethereums go, your IOTAs, your Stellars, your your Aves, your uh, IOST, uh, that'll be just fine. But they sure don't like this privately issued money. Anyways, and that's what's happening right now. Uh, that's what's going into the, um, through the Indian Congress right now. Um yeah, they, they, they did that last week. Well, well, they put it in last week, and so we'll see what happens with it. They'll probably talk about it here. Um, I didn't read this story yet. Um, but I already know about what's going on in India. So, yeah, guys, India's still fucking around. So you brothers who've been here with me, fucking how much do we have to read about fucking India, right? Right? The central bank banned the banks from holding crypto. Then the banksters took the central bank to the to the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court told the central bank, it's not your job to uh, ban crypto. You know, they just go on and on, like just a shit show when it comes to this space. All right. But the reason we follow it so hard here, you know, you're probably, if you're new here, you're probably like, well, why are you following it so much then? Well, dickhead. India, one in five people on earth are Indians, right? One in five people on earth are Chinese, right? Uh, you know, between them, that's 40% of the earth. So, well, that's a big pool of investors. All right, so let's check it out. India crypto exchanges have been experiencing a flood of INR deposits and surging trade volumes since it was revealed that Elon Musk's Tesla purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. The positive sentiment swept the Indian crypto industry despite the uncertainty of the cryptocurrency bill that may soon be introduced in Parliament. So that's the bill I was telling you about. Yeah, they're talking about just banning it. They keep doing this every fucking year. 
We've been watching this here since the beginning of this fucking channel. Uh, get real. Just get your shit together, people. Like, for fuck's sakes. I told you guys about this, about India. Yeah, when the dot-com bubble happened. Yeah, you know, India was like five years behind. It's like they don't like to adopt technology or something. I don't know what the fuck their problem is. It's weird. Oh, yeah, they were way behind in the the dot-com, uh, uh, you know, um, you know, just getting on board with the Internet. All right. So, India cryptocurrency started to high deposit volumes on Monday after Elon Musk's Tesla revealed that it bought a Bitcoin. Wait, that it bought Bitcoin, not a Bitcoin, that it bought $1.5 billion of Bitcoin. Is it billion or million? Fucking billion, yeah, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Look! So, uh, according to the company's filing with the U.S. Security and Exchange Commission, Tesla put $1.5 billion into Bitcoin in January and expects to accept payment in the cryptocurrency for its products and services in the near future. Yeah, yeah, you'll be able to buy a Tesla with, uh, with Bitcoin soon. Why the fuck would you waste your Bitcoin on a fucking car? Just use your fiat money for that shit. <laughs> your Bitcoin's bang, bang, gonna rise. So look, the move caused a massive inflow of orders on cryptocurrency exchanges in India and globally. Uh, Sathvik Vishwanath, the CEO of Unicoin, a major Indian crypto exchange, told news.bitcoin.com Tuesday, and this is what this guy says. He says, we've seen a sudden uptick in INR. So that's the rupees. That's the Indian national rupee. That's the name of their money. So we've seen a sudden uptick in INR deposits and BTC trading volumes on Unicoin since Tesla announcement. The markets in India were not reacting so quickly before, so this should be a very strong trigger this time. Got to have these catalysts. Got to have these catalysts. Uh, the INR deposits have more than doubled since the last 18 hours. Oh, my gosh. An 18-hour period. Less than one day. The number of new registrations in the same time span is what we generally see in a week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Another major Indian crypto exchange, Wazarex, you know, Wazarex is partly owned by Binance, um, saw a similar trend after the Tesla news broke. CEO Nishal Shetty told news.bitcoin.com we saw three times more deposits in the first few hours compared to other days. Deposits have been on an upward trend ever since. Cryptocurrency exchanges outside of India also experienced high volumes after Tesla's news, including Binance, Coinbase, and Kraken. A spokesperson for, a spokesperson for Kraken told Reuters, the recent run-up far exceeded anticipated increases in demand up over five-fold from previous all-time highs. Dang God. On the regulatory front, right? That's what I'm saying. In, in Elon Musk, who gives a shit about some rapper over here saying, oh, blah, 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 or some singer, you know, Taylor Swift or something. Yeah, it, your, your fans are millennials. They don't have fucking money. Who gives a shit what you say? Yeah, Elon Musk, like I said, people who follow him are, you know, college educated. They finish school. Yeah, well, if you finish school, then you probably have a good job. Yeah, well, if you have a good job, you probably have the main thing, disposable income. You're not a broke fuck living paycheck to paycheck. You got money in the bank. And when you hear Elon just threw $1.5 billion at Bitcoin, well, come on. Well, an educated person says, well, let me look into this. Yeah, and that's what they're doing. They're looking into this space. They're learning about Bitcoin. Then they're learning about the underlying technology, this thing called a blockchain. And then they're learning about, oh, there are other blockchains out here. VeChain, IOTA, Stellar, IOST, Chainlink, all of them. You know, just all the miscreants, the usual suspects. And, uh, you know, they look into it. You know, they're educated people. They finish school, right? And, uh... That's what the money we're seeing now coming in. All around the world, Elon Musk has fans. All around the world, 
He's got college educated, university educated people. Oh, yeah. And like I said, the most important thing about that is they have disposable income because they actually have good jobs. <laughs> good jobs. You know, they ain't broke, motherfucker. They have good jobs. Bah! Oh, yeah. Thank you, Elon. So, the research, uh, so 5%. All right. So, on the regulatory front, the Indian government is preparing to introduce the crypto bill that may be that may ban cryptocurrencies while creating a regulatory framework for the digital rupee to be issued by the Reserve Bank of India. So remember that. They're not trying to ban your your like I said, your V change, your Stellars, your IOTAs, your your IOSTs and that. But they don't like the privately issued money stuff. I guess they don't want it to compete with their digital rupee uh, that there's gonna come out. Um C B D C, right? So amid reports that the government may fast track this bill, the central bank says it will soon announce the decision regarding the central bank digital currency. Meanwhile, the cryptocurrency industry in India has launched a campaign to convince the government to not ban cryptocurrency. So obviously the crypto folks in India are fighting back. Well, they're begging, please don't ban it, right? Then on Tuesday, the finance ministry revealed in Raja, Raja Sabar, Sabah, the upper house of India's parliament that the bill is actually being finalized and will soon be sent to the cabinet. So we're about to hear news about coming out of India real soon, real soon. And uh, let's hope it's good news, guys. Let us hope and pray. It's good news. One in five people on earth are Indian. That's straight numbers. And uh, well, we sure would like them to come to their space and bring their disposable income with them. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. All right, let's move on. Wait, wait, where are we going here? Bang, there we go. Ooh, what's going on here? All right, there we go. Dilemma. Lever with the though. Bang, what's he talking about? Look, look. Oh, the Matic Network thing, yeah. So, oh, and these guys were talking all about Matic in my chat room lately, too. So, anyways, Matic has turned into... Polygon. Uh, Ethereum's Internet of Blockchains, okay? So we're excited to announce that we're expanding our mission and technology and scope and becoming Polygon, Ethereum's Internet of Blockchains. So good for Ethereum, good for Matic, now Polygon. All right. But yeah, a bunch of brothers actually bought some Matic this weekend, it looked like. Abundantly may like by the sea, brother. Bye. Oh, look at him. He says, Hodl, take no prisoners. Hodl. Ha ha ha. Yes. You're feeling it now, brother. You're feeling it now. Keep accumulating, 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 everybody. This ain't over yet. This we are far. Look, look, look. We are far from done. In fact, we haven't even begun yet. We haven't even begun yet. There's a lot of work to do. You just keep accumulating, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. You trying to make these millions or what? Yeah, well, you take that little paycheck. There it is, a little paycheck like this. You give it to your little bankster, and you buy. You buy crypto with that motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Look, look, you got wife and kids. Now, they don't need to eat steak every day. Huh? 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 Some ground beef. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, he need to you need to maximize every penny you can right now. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Yeah, that phone bill. Well, they're not gonna cut it off this month if you don't pay it. You can catch up next month. <laughs> every penny, folks. This is the sacrifice. This is the sacrifice for yourselves. Because we're we're in it now. Whoa, 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 sorry, sorry. We're not in it, but as you can see, we're not even in it, and we're already ramping up. We're already flying at 5, 10, 20% a day sometimes, right? Uh, you don't want to be priced out. You know, you don't want to be looking at something and being like, yeah, well, you know, I was going to get it, but now it's too much, right? That's called getting priced out. You don't want that. Buy everything you flipping can. And, uh, yeah. Get her done. All right. Abundantly me. Love, brother. See you, brother. Bang. And the kid. Bang. 
Crazy Edwin. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Oh, Edwin's happy like a motherfucker. Oh, and this is some shit, Edwin. Okay, so hold on. Lorna, all in downs. <laughs> Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. And then, so this is what Edwin wrote today to us at the chat room. And this is why I call him Crazy Edwin, because he just says funny stuff sometimes. He says, <laughs> do you know? So he's talking. So this is like a commercial, you know, to help. Like, imagine, a, you know, the commercial to help the stray dogs and stuff like that. So he says, do you know? Or to help, like, African kids in some village or something. So he says, do you know? Of that money, you can sponsor a crypto addict. For little or no money down, you too can have a disenfranchised adult to sponsor in crypto. <laughs> Just think about the happy little boy and girls who would benefit from your generosity. You can get that child in Africa the doji coin they so desperately need, <laughs> all from a small donation. Be a hero today. Oh, be a hero. Today's your day to make a difference in the world. <laughs> That's the kind of shit Edwin says. He's a funny guy. And then I think she put a, but then she got, and then she goes, here, here's a, a QR code thing. So that's funny. Lorna all in downs. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. Keep accumulating. Right, don't cash in yet. She's got a few houses and she wants to fix them up and stuff. Don't worry, man. They can wait. They can wait. Dino Jankovic. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. He's the one who created the name Noah Fest. That's our brother. He's been with us from the very beginning. He's a friend of 007s and Van Bedinians. Look. Love you, brother. See brother. Bye. DJ Paul and Hood. Love you, brother. See brother. Bye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Edwin said, Shmari, man, I'd ride with you through hell and back. Well, Paulie would also went through the hell. <laughs> he was there in 2018. All right. Introducing Bitcoin for everyone. A free course to educate the world on Bitcoin. Whatever, man. I don't know what he's showing us here. Bye. Look, sloppy. Holding down. Holding down the north. Toronto. Love you, brother. See you, brother. My, own, my hometown. Well, my stomping grounds. I mean, I was born in New York, but I grew up in Toronto. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. What's he saying? V-Chain, why are you so shy? Everyone is waiting. I know. I know. V-Chain's more of a smart money play. I mean, it kicked ass today, but let's get real. That's going to be when Smart Money gets here. Uh, Kishore, Kum you know, everybody, you know, you got to understand when these new people get here, as they're coming here, you know, uh, these new retail investors, well, you know, they're investing on all that stuff that's hyped, you know, that's getting hyped and got the big, you know, uh, that they're seeing all over the websites and everything, right? You know, they probably don't know about VeChain and IOTA and shit, like, onboarding all this shit right so oh yeah i'm not worried about v chain that's a smart money play okay kishore kumar mahanti dysp app police all right bye what are you like a cop in india or something buddy all right everyone's got to earn a living look miguel j started this account just to follow me Yes, love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. <laughs> he did. He just made it to follow me. That's uh, it's flattering. Thibby, love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Whoop, the deep pact. Oh, she liked. Oh, there's something about the kill zone. Deep pact. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. Let's see what we got here. Shankar, Kalas, Gawande, Shanky. All right, brother. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bah. What do we got here? Doom and thick. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bah. Crypto anxiety. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bah. Hmm. All right. Look, look, there's Kong with our favorite scene in the movie. Bitcoin Kong. <laughs> wow. Yes. Let him see with the bar. Look what he's saying. Look what he's saying, though. He's saying, all right, wife, time for some Marble Kitchen talk. Look, look. 
So he must be making some money. So I always tell you, you tell that wife, look, now's not the time, sweetie. Now's not the time. But apparently, well, as you can see here, Kong says it's time for some, some kitchen talk. All right. That's how his portfolio is going. <laughs> yeah. We haven't even begun, brother. Don't start taking out that money yet. Love you, brother. brother. Bye. Deborah. I'm late for the game. I'm late to the game. Look, look. Better late than never, Deborah. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. Accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Yes. What's this? Caribbean Apollo knots. Holy. He's tagged all sorts of shit. Let me see what, what he's talking about. Suspended, suspended. Apollo FinTech Twitter account suspended. Oh, wow. Well. Gives a fuck. Learn about the sheep of the pie. Where's everyone? All right, there they are. All right, good, good. Let's get this over with. Look, what do we got? Beautiful brawlies. <laughs> Love you, brawlies. See you, brawlies. Bang. Bang, I'm breeding. Wow, I'll just say this. Elon Musk, Van Breenen. Love you, brother. brother. And Kitty Breenen. Bah! Andrew Richeda. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bah! Grunstable, Grunstable. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bah! There's the deep pack. There's this. Oh, there's Spy Lady. See how she was hiding down there? That's how she do. That's how she be. That's how she get down. Ha, ha, ha. Love you, Brenda. Spy lady. Love you, lady. See you, lady. Bang. All right. Let's get back to the Death Star, guys. Bye. Welcome back. So, 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 so. We had a great show for you today. And let's get real. Things are just looking great. Things are just looking up. The money's flowing in now. Uh, this is what we've been working so hard for. All of you brothers. All of you brothers and sisters who've been with me from the beginning. From the beginning of the bloodbath, like I said, Edwin, Edwin said, oh, yeah, Shamari, you know, I'd ride with you to hell and back. Brother, we already did the hell part. <laughs> we did that part. That was called 2018. <laughs> did you not notice all the, all the bloody corpses as we walked by those weak hands dead on the street? <laughs> did you not? Did you not see the slaughter? Dang God, how much more hell do you want, brother? That's what I love. Bang. He's like, all right, I'll do it again. He's like, I'll do it again. Even worse. Bitcoin went down 90% last year in 2018. Let's take it down 99. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Edwin. He's ready. He's ready to go to hell and back. But look, brother. Look. We were already there. That was called 2018. 2019 was the year of wait, was a year of, were the years of hurry up and wait. Yeah, well, the wait is just about over now, folks. The wait is just about over now. Your portfolios, uh, you know, are just going to see consistent gains, you know, for the next, you know, eight years. <laughs> eight years well the dot com bubble lasted eight years we'll see how long this one lasts but I don't see why not uh, it's going to take time for everyone to get blockchained up it's going to take time for the average consumer soccer mom and dad to get educated about this space and get into it uh, it's going to take time for regulations to come out so that the hedge fund guys and the big money man can actually get here and actually buy this stuff we're just beginning this is nothing uh, this is nothing. Um, you know, like I told you, uh, in the dot-com bubble days, there was a saying. It was called uh, New Bodish. New Rich. The dot-com bubble made the new rich. Yeah, all around the country, people were just getting rich. Uh, Oprah Winfrey, she used to have a... Uh, on Fridays, she would have this thing. Um, what was it? It was like a housewife investment club thing that she would do on her show yeah these old these little housewives like i'm talking real housewives like i'm talking women without jobs you know who literally just stay at home and tend the house you know old school style yeah these were like you know ladies you know 
who sit around, you know, in a sewing circle and shit. Yeah, and Oprah would be like, hey, guys, how'd you guys do this week? And they'd be like, oh, we made 15000 this week. We're going to allocate some new funds to this stock, that stock. Yeah, yeah, Google that. Oprah Investment Club. I bet you there's something on YouTube that'll show you that. Well, that's what this space is going to be like. Soccer moms and dads in, well, soccer moms in their little sewing circle of girls. You know, just getting rich off V-Chain and shit like that. <laughs> that's how it was. And that's how when I tell you you're going to be rich, like I'm not just saying it to say it. You know, you guys know I don't make money off of YouTube. I don't give a fuck about subscribers. Look at me. I'm fucking drinking right out of a bottle like a homeless man. Right, I'm smoking cigarettes. People think it's disgusting. I don't give a fuck. I'm here for straight cash, homie. And if you are too, that's why you're here with me. And if you're here with me, well, I guarantee you, you're going to be rich. You're going to be fucking rich. And this hasn't even begun yet. This hasn't even started yet. The guy today who told me he made 100K today. Yeah, buddy, a guy like you who made 100K, if you made it, like I didn't make 100K today, I'll tell you that. I mean, I made some Ks, but not 100 of them. <laughs> I made some serious Ks today myself, but it wasn't 100. And so a brother like you making 100 Ks off a day like today, yeah, well, just add a few more zeros to that fucking shit, homeboy. That's when you know you've made it. That's when you know. That's when you know. And yeah, we all made Ks today. We all made grands today, right? Isn't it a beautiful thing? Wake up in the morning and just, bye! Right? I, I haven't even traded Forex lately. And you know what's funny is that my, my crypto, in the past three months, I haven't traded uh, Forex, right? Because I told you, I'm waiting for the new administration to just settle themselves in, get Gary Gensler in, get the, you know, the word out about what they're where they're taking the economy, and then we'll go from there, right? And what's funny is, you know, like, my, my crypto has been making just as much as if I was trading. Like, I'm not losing any money at all. Uh. <laughs> I love crypto. Right? Of course, I guess I am technically losing money because I would also make the Forex money, but you know what I'm saying. I don't feel, I mean, there's a little bit of, you know, like withdrawal. You know, I, I want to trade, but just because I love it. You know, I love doing it, but you know, my, my, my money is still growing. You know, and I'm just sitting here smoking joints and buying crypto, right? Talking to you guys, talking to you band of miscreants. It's great. It's great. That's what I'm telling you. You're going to be rich. You're going to be fucking rich. And that's why you have to accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Especially now, because we're close now. You know, back in 2018, well, we were going down then, so that was different. That was a buy the dip idiot thing. 2019 and 20 was, uh, well, we're just consolidating, so hurry up and fill your portfolio yeah we're not consolidating anymore we are now rising we are now rising so like i said you don't want to be priced out of anything uh you fucking throw every fucking penny you can at the market yeah throw it bah what what someone said to me today they bought something and they're like yeah i just made <laughs> like a whole bunch of g's from last night to today that's the level. Yeah, and, and like I'm telling you, this hasn't even begun. This is not the tsunami I'm talking about. This is fuck all. This is still just retailers coming in here. Yeah, I'll tell you right now what happened. I'll tell you right now what happened this week, what, why, we're, why we're going up. Yeah, Elon Musk. Like I told you, a bunch of smarty pants who follow Elon, who have disposable income because they're actually educated, they finish school, yeah, right? This isn't the desperate McDonald's worker coming in and buying crypto this time. Yeah, this is the educated uh, suburban housewife and dad with fucking disposable income. Professionals, this is your doctors, this is your lawyers. If you're an Elon, if you're an engineer, well, you're an Elon Musk fan for sure. Those types, these aren't weak hands. These people can afford it. And they're not stupid, so they understand markets go up and down. So they're not going to run away. In 2018, it was a bunch of McDonald's workers and just broke motherfuckers 
hoping for a get rich quick thing with Bitcoin, right? Yeah, so as soon as it went down, ah, they ran away because they didn't have money to ride the storm out. You know, they couldn't ride out the storm. That's a weak hand. You know, they got shook out the market. You're like a dog. When a dog goes into the water and it comes out of the water, right, it, it does that shake, right? And then pfft, all, the, all the water goes away. Well, that's what happened. Weak hands. Pfft. Yeah, this is not weak hand time now. This is smart, educated money coming to the space on the retail level. So it's a different type of retailer. Back in 2017, yeah, it's like millennials and, you know, just fucking broke motherfuckers who were desperate to make some money and make something of themselves and putting their money in and not knowing, well, you could take a bath. You could, you could, you could lose it all, right? You could take a bath. And... I mean, even some of my subscribers back then, I mean, if you brothers, you brothers remember, remember that guy Evan from Devon or whatever his name was, right? Talking about like, oh, you know, I, I'm working overtime right now to put in money now. And I, I, I tell him, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. One day there's going to be a tsunami. One day there's going to be a tsunami. Anyways, so we lost a bunch of brothers back then. But these people that are coming in now, these retailers, right? Back then it was broke ass motherfuckers. Let's get real. I know. I but that's the truth. Broke ass motherfuckers with green hair and nose rings, you know, working at McDonald's, eh, and they couldn't handle the heat. You know, they couldn't take the losses, and so they left. This is a whole different class. This is a whole different caliber of investor that we're having in this space now. First of all, we have the institutions that are coming to this space. As we've been reading here, uh, well, like Elon Musk, motherfuck, just the corporations buying Bitcoin and hodling it, right? Yeah, well, they're not selling. that. They're not weak hands. Of course they're not. They got billions of dollars. <laughs> they're not scared of if Bitcoin goes down 10, 20 G even, you know? Uh, so what? You know, like, so what? <laughs> you know, they, then they're not stupid. Well, they'll buy that dip. And drive it right back to where it came from. And so, <laughs> bang! And so, we have a different caliber of investor now. And I tell you right now, what we've been seeing over the past couple of days, yeah, well, that's the Elon Musk effect. Like I said, when LL Cool J or Beyonce or someone says, oh, Bitcoin, who gives a fuck? Your fans are fucking broke ass motherfuckers, you know, who gives a shit? When Elon Musk says, I just spent $1.5 billion in Bitcoin, bitch. Wow. Wow. Smart. Uh, just people take notice. Educated people take notice. Uh, like I said, uh, suburban housewives and, 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 you know, little little corporate executives living in the suburbs take notice of that shit. Oh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> ha. They take daggone good notice. And, oh, and I also should tell you. When he said that, you guys know I watch Al Jazeera, right? For my news, I watch Al Jazeera because it's global, right? And BBC. Yeah, that Elon Musk thing was all over there. So the whole world found out about Elon Musk. It wasn't just, oh, it was reported in some newspaper here in America. That was global. That was big news globally. And when Elon Musk has a global following, people love that. The guy sends the rocket into the sky. It comes back down and it lands. Right? He's a genius. I know, I know. The last two rockets, I know. They both blew up. I know, I know. But he did land that other one. Right? So maybe he just says, look, guys, let's let's just do what we did with that other one that landed. <laughs> These last two rockets. Yeesh. You know, you'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. You know, you got to work out the kinks. You know, I just got to get the kinks worked out. <laughs> but it's a guy like that. You know, it's that kind of stuff that brings us our fucking money. Um, you know what I mean? Like, I know. But Grayscale's been buying Bitcoin for a long time. Yeah, but regular soccer moms and dads don't hear about Grayscale. No one talks about that. It's not on fucking Al Jazeera, BBC. Grayscale buys this much Bitcoin. It's too niche. You know, it's too niche. But when a guy like Elon Musk does it, fuck. Fuck. Van Breeden! Bah! Uh, it's just a great thing, you know? 
just a great thing. All right, so let's get to our stories. I just want to tell you, you're going to be rich. And so uh, continue to accumulate. It's not over yet. Well, Shamori, I'm getting rich now. I'm just going to sit back and do nothing. No, you're not. No, you're not, worker B. You're going to get the fuck back to work. Get the fuck back to work. You're not done investing in yourself. What do you mean? What I mean is this. You're investing in yourself. This money that you're investing in is going to be yours one day. Right? All these gains are going to be yours. Right? How much gains do you want? You know, all of them. <laughs> all the gains you can afford. All, all the gains you can afford to, to accumulate. Yeah, well, if you get that paycheck, you start running around with your dickhead, your asshole buddies, fucking chasing pussy around and drinking. That's not going to get you those gains. If you're running around with your buddies, heading to Vegas, smoking weed and, again, fucking pussy, and losing money at the tables. <sighs> oh, eesh. Daggone, eesh. You ain't going to make any money. Every paycheck now, you have to be disciplined. That's it. You just pay the minimum amount of bills that you have to pay to stay alive. And buy food to, to survive. But every other, every other bit of money after that, you put that straight into the crypto. You put that straight into working product. You build your portfolio bit warehouse big. Buy! You build it strong. Buy! And you put every fucking penny you can. Because now's the time. Now is the time. For these gains. And I mean, literally, guys were telling me, Shimori, I bought some shit yesterday and it just went up 20%. Like, that's the level. Now your money is rising instantly. Yeah, you put the money in today, tomorrow, all right, you just doubled up, fucker. What do you want? What, do you, <laughs> yeah, what, what else do I, what do you need? Right? Right? So I guess what I'm trying to do is motivate you to, you know, we're in the last sort of run before the true tsunami gets unleashed. And once that's unleashed, wow, yeah, we're going to be priced out real quick. <laughs> we're going to be priced out real quick. Shamar, you're going to get priced out? Of course I am, fuckstick. Because I've got the good shit. They're going to bang. It's going to fly. So I'm buying it all now. Well, I've been buying it for three years, but okay, guys? To so accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. Because the party's about to start. You know, right now what's going on, it's like a, you go to the nightclub. You go to a rave. When I was a kid, I used to go to these parties called raves. And at the beginning of the night, you know, they usually have the shit DJs. You know, just some sort of local no-name motherfucker, right? Right, and then about 1 in the morning, 12 o'clock, 1 in the morning, then they bring on the headliners. You know, then they bring on Dead Mouse. You know, then they bring out, you know, Swedish House Mafia. You know, then they bring out, you know... The headliners. Well, that's what we're in right now. This this is just the opening act. This is just the opening DJ. Right? We're still just collecting our drinks and having fun. And well, once we get regulatory clarity and everything, they're going to bring out the big guns. And you're going to be priced out. Uh, we all will. <laughs> Not just you. All of us. Well, priced out of what we're in now but i mean there's always going to be more cryptos coming up later and we can always just get into those too i mean it's not over it's not over you know it's not a one time thing but uh so accumulate 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 guys uh, we're too close now and you don't want to be priced out you know don't don't you know oh i'll do it next paycheck yeah, next paycheck, that shit might be double that you wanted to buy. Oh, well, I'll buy some, I'm going to buy some, well, like what? Uh, let me just think of something. I don't know. What's going up? Oh, Cardano's going up lately. Or this dot, dot, oh, polka dot. Yeah, I'll buy, I'll buy some polka dot next time. I want to go take my girlfriend out this week. Yeah, well, your next paycheck, fuck stick, polka dot's going to be twice as much as it is now. See what I'm saying? The girlfriend, the wife, the kids. You make them fend for themselves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, kids, you got to go fend for yourselves. Right? 
Oh, yeah, go gather some grass and shit in the backyard and feed it. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. I'm obviously being an asshole. But you see what I'm saying? I'm saying, what I, well, I guess the point I'm really trying to make is just, now is not the time for any extracurricular spending. Anything. Remember this. Every dollar you spend on that beer with your buddies, that's a dollar out of crypto, right? That's that a dollar. What are we at? V chain at three cents. Uh, every dollar. Yeah, that's thirty V chain. Yeah, just that one dollar. Right. All right, guys. So let's just get to our stories. I'm trying to motivate you. I want you to. I mean, I don't think I need to motivate you because you see how much money you're making now. You understand. Fuck, Shamar, you were right, man. This shit it really is flying. This is nothing. I'm telling you. All right, so let's do our stories. So you get it. I hope I motivated you sufficiently. Like if you're new to this space, I know you old guys, you guys who've been here, well, obviously you're all making money, but if you're new to the crypto space, new to this channel, that's what we're about right here. Accumulate, 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 and wait for the tsunami that is to come, that has begun trickling in. Yeah, we're only up to our ankles in water now. I'm going to tell you, when the tsunami arrives, yeah, you're going to be inundated. It's going to be an inundation. Uh, you know, look at 2004 uh, Indonesia tsunami. Google that, 2004 Indonesia tsunami. Yeah, well, you see all that water and destruction? That's what's coming. <laughs> That's what's coming to this space. An equivalent amount. Ah. Ah. Those who aren't in are going to get washed away. Those who are in, yeah. you'll be nice. All right, let's go. Okay, let's really do it. I just really want to talk about our money all night. But all right, let's just, let me spare you the lecture. You already lectured us. Yes, well, there's a lot more I could say. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep that for later. Wow. Wow, this is just the beginning. It's just the beginning, like I told you. Wait till I get wait till I get these motherfucking accountants and lawyers in here to teach us what to do with our money. You see, the point of the making this money is easy. This isn't rocket science. Pile a whole bunch of fucking working product in a warehouse and hodl it. I mean <laughs> Yeah, it's not hard. It's keeping the money that's hard. Once you know. And we're gonna have our we're gonna have the lawyers and the accountants in here. I figure when 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 VChain gets to about twenty cents, yeah, I'm gonna start unleashing the professionals on us. I have another microphone right here. Yeah, you know? yeah, I have a whole other microphone right there. I have a whole desk area right there, right, so, so they can talk into and all this. And we're not fucking around around here. This is a full service crypto channel. We're gonna find out how to put our money offshore. Any sort of tax. Sneakiness we could do maybe a little bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. All right. Enough. Enough. Let's get to the stories. All right. Singularity Nets mi migrates to Cardano. So, oh, big onboarding for Cardano. And like I said, I mean, you brothers all know about Singularity Net. It's got a talking robot. Well, it's the AI that talks. The robot is just the interface that you interact with the AI is how you should really say it. And, uh, uh, you know, just amazing stuff. You know, Dr. Ben Gortzel, he's a PhD. You know, Cardano is a mathematician, well-respected academic man. Dr. Ben Gortzel is a well-respected academic man. The team of Cardano are well-respected academicians, right? I think there's three other PhDs on the Cardano team. Yeah, so these are like brainiacs that want to unleash some shit on us. So you know this is going to work. <laughs> You know what I mean? They're not a bunch of little kids. You know, Vitalik Buterin, Justin's son, right out of college, you know, you know, trying to make their, you know, nah, these are guys who, they were already successful in the world. Uh, and now they really want to drop a masterpiece. <laughs> you know what I mean? A masterpiece of blockchain-ness. And uh, so, if you haven't already, Get yourself some Singularity Net. And it'd probably be wise anyway because Sophia, 
well, she's going to know if you bought any of that or not back when you're in her early days. When she decides to take over the world, you're going to want to be able to say, look, Sophia, I invested in you back in the days. Have mercy on me. <laughs> All right, just kidding. All right, so Singularity Net migrates to Cardano. Bye. And then Curve Finance moves to Polkadot. So, actually, I thought it was they were they moved all the way to Polkadot, but what it is is Curve Finance is going to have a presence on Polkadot, but still keep its presence on Ethereum. So, oh, nice. What did they say? A multi-chain? Hold on, let me see what the fuck the name, what the hell they said that. All right, they said some multi-chain shit or something. Um, Hold on one second. Oh, cross-chain. Cross-chain. All right, so they want to go cross-chain. Yeah, multi-chain, cross-chain. Uh, so Polkadot uh, is the beneficiary of this. Uh, great stuff, great stuff. Good collaboration and great stuff. And then finally, bah, India. Crypto exchanges are flooded after Elon Musk said what he said. And, uh, you know, I can't emphasize enough how important, how great that Elon Musk thing was, um, is. Um, like I said, the people who follow Elon Musk, you know, they're not like, you know, someone who follows, you know, Snoop Dogg or fucking Beyonce. These are college educated people with good jobs and disposable income. who respect Elon Musk. And when he says something like that, I mean, I mean, it wasn't even like, you know, yeah, you know, I bought a couple of, I got, bought a couple of Bitcoin. No, $1.5 billion worth of the shit. Fuck. <laughs> look, look. Look, look. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't no half step in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. $1.5 billion, dog. He threw a billion piece chicken. <laughs> he threw a billion piece chicken at that. Dang down. And like I said, when people who follow Elon Musk hear that, these are educated people. They're gonna look into it. Um, they're gonna actually do their homework. Um, they're gonna realize there's more to Bitcoin than just Bitcoin. They're gonna realize, oh, it's a whole blockchain industry which many, like they're going to understand, you know, shit like this, All right? Look up here. How many blockchains are there? 8,420. Yeah, well, they're going to start doing their fucking homework, aren't they? These are educated people. These are smart people, right? And so they're going to do their flipping homework. And, uh, and like I said, they have what's called disposable income. Not little millennials that are all broke. They were eating ramen noodles off the, you know, I had to do too. But, uh, you know, eating ramen noodles. These are educated uh, people with disposable income. And, uh, and uh, um, you know, that's what we need, right? More money, more money into this space. And then, uh, well, and then, so that's on the retail side of it. But then you look at it from the business perspective. Yeah, all these business guys are seeing that their corporation, uh, that other corporations are starting to hodl Bitcoin as a reserve currency. I actually have a story for you tomorrow we're going to do. A lot of, uh, a lot of uh, institutions started buying Ethereum last week. Like mega, mega. So we're going to do that tomorrow. But, um you know these guys aren't stupid and uh so like i said is this alt season is this the tsunami fuck no we're not even close and so that should tell you fuck if we're not even close shamari says we're not even close i just made 100 grand today fuck yeah well that should tell you you're gonna be fucking rich <laughs> yeah you're gonna be fucking rich old boy you know what I'm saying? All right, so that's enough. I don't have to motivate a motherfucker anymore. You see your portfolios. It speaks for its fucking self. 
So look, on that note, let's chill it and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Bang! Subscribe below, press the bell. You get an automatic notification when I do the show. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. And I've got the greatest subscribers known to man. All making money. Because they listened. They paid attention. My subscribers put in the work. Put in that fucking work. Put in that fucking work. And the work's not over. But let's celebrate a little bit. Let's celebrate a little bit. Put in the work. And yeah, now they're being rewarded. It's no more just yap yap from Shamari. Shamari won. Shamari won. <laughs> well, starting now, fuckstick. <laughs> bah! All right? That's what it's about. And you invested in yourself. You invested in yourself. Well, all these other worker bees are out here, scared shitless. Look how many of you told your friends about crypto. Uh, look at me, all right? I told my sister back in 2018. Yeah, she fucking finally bought it, like, what, a month ago? The Bitcoin? $30,000 and two years later? Yeesh. And Rachel, if you're watching, you know I love you. But seriously. Yeesh. <laughs> and, because she does watch. And so... I think she does. I don't know. So I have to be polite uh, for sure. But yeah, you know, uh, so it's finally working. It's finally coming. Uh, we're not done yet. We have a little more work to do. But now you see that your work is paying off. We'll now redouble your efforts. What, Jamari? Yeah. Now's not the time to, oh boy, I'm just going to chill out and just watch my money rolling. Nah. Now's the time to put your fucking back into it. Now you can fucking put your back into it. Now, oh fuck, this is working. Now I'm really gonna get into this motherfucker. Put my put your back right into it. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, brothers? And you will be rewarded. All right. As you can see, right? It's not just Shamari talking bullshit. You know, for three fucking years. <laughs> Why are we listening to this fucking guy drinking and smoking and shit? I'm not a dickhead because I'm a murderer. And as you can see, oh, we've begun the slaughter. <laughs> we've begun to slaughter them. And so, look, keep accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. Revenue generating product. There's a lot more work to do. You put your back into it now. And for those of you who might have doubted out there, let's go keep saying that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to put a few. Well, now you see, right? You fucking put your back into it now, boy. You want to make this money, you better put your back in around these parts. The prices have already started to fly. and You don't want to be priced out. Right? You think about nothing else. Wife, kids, fuck all that shit. You put your back into it. You get her done. All right, so subscribe below, press the bell. You get an automatic notification when I do the show, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Look, my name's Shamar Clock. Love talking money. Bang! As you can see. Love talking crypto. Bang! Again, as you can see, this is the favorite time. Not only is this the favorite time of my day, but when we're making money like this, baby, I, who wouldn't love this? Who, who wouldn't? I could sit here for fucking five more hours just yapping about the market. <laughs> but I'm going to let you go. You're going to be rich. But on that note, let's just, let's get her done for today. Let's go back, count our money, and I'll see you tomorrow. So look, subscribe below, press the bell. Bang! Watch that video right here. Bang! Greatest of the multiverse, and I will see you tomorrow. My name is Shamari Clark, and as you can tell, I love watching this money. And I am always, always on duty. Bye. Yes. Love you guys. Get this crypto. Over and out.